So, have you ever went to go cook something on your gas grill and... Nope. No ignition, no clicking, no fire. So, uh, what's going on here? We're gonna unscrew this push button and we're gonna switch out batteries. That's the easiest thing to check first. Make sure it's just not a dead battery. You just screw that back on and, uh, nope. Still nothing. So we're gonna have to change out this igniter. It's pretty easy. Take the battery back out, and then there's this little nut that holds the igniter in place. We're just gonna unscrew that. And we're gonna reach underneath there and pull the igniter out. I recommend checking there's no critters under there, or any spiders or anything like that. And uh, this is what it looks like. My grill's a four burner grill, so that's why there's four wires connected to the back there. And here's the new one I got. got off Amazon, I'll have the link down in the description there. And uh, it's pretty much identical to the one that came in the grill. Looks like it has a black push button instead of the chrome shiny one, but we're gonna take that push button off make sure to take that retaining nut on there off also and you just pull these wires out they're on connectors kind of like a speaker wire kind of they have just connectors that push back right back on so we're going to take each one off and push it on the new one And we're almost done. So, uh, I'm just gonna put that back up into place and put back on the retaining nut. Put the battery back in. And we're just gonna screw the uh, push button back on. And hopefully. Hopefully, yes, success. We had the clicking going on, so let's test it. We have ignition. There's fire. There's fire in there. All right. Let's go ahead and test all of them. And, yep, all four lit. And uh, we're ready to get back to grilling. <laughs> 